Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is February 8th, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see some light precipitation still occurring across northwest California. Had some pretty nice rainfall amounts across southern California. We'll take a look at some of those here in a moment. But we've got a big change coming up here as we go through next week. Very powerful storm. Looks like it's going to be bearing down on the state of California. Heavy precipitation for much of the state, including Southern California. We're going to dive into the latest on those details as we go through the video this morning. Taking a look at the mid-level water vapor loop, some of this energy out in the Pacific is eventually going to get brought into the state here as we get this big Arctic high out across Pacific Northwest. Deep troughs spinning this storm system back into the region. Powerful atmospheric river potential all the way down through Southern California. So stay with me here and we'll go over some of that. If you really want to understand the National Weather Service and the NOAA predicament here we are in. I don't think the general public has that good of an understanding of just all of what this entails. And Daniel Swain does a good job, Weather West. I'm going to put the link down below if you want to go ahead and watch his roundup here. you got to watch the whole thing. If you really want to be educated and speak intelligently on this topic, please check out this video. Now, take a look here at a nice affordable home weather station. If you want to record all this crazy weather we get here along the West Coast of North America, this is great for the price and it helps support the channel. Click on the link down below to save 10% off. Great smartphone app, highly recommended. Now, we got some cold weather coming in here for portions of California as well. This is Saturday, February 8th, National Weather Service, Eureka, California, talking about this between 2 a.m. and 9 a.m. today. So this is wrapping up here. There's some chilly conditions out there, so just head up for that and uh, this is the bay area as well you know cover your plants and whatnot out there some frost and freeze warnings especially for some of the interior areas and this is a uh, medford national weather service i'm showing you to hear this one you see the light blue the cold weather advisory this is something the national weather service has started recently so it will show some of these out there and this depends on your individual location and uh, temperatures relatively speaking and what people are used to for these given areas so you can click on that and get more information now taking a look at what is to come so the last Angeles National Weather Service is all on top of things here. You can see we got some gusty winds, moderate to heavy rain potential for a long duration storm coming up here. We got debris flow impacts and your recent burn scars. Really pay attention to this if you're across Southern California. You can see the mountain snow levels are out there as well. But uh, yeah, some very heavy rain. Looks like it is coming in. Pretty good model agreement on this strong storm rolling in here. And uh, this is we go Wednesday through Friday. So this is next week. But big amounts potentially coming in here. And we'll see if these uptrend or downtrend over the next few days for sure. And this is the three to seven day hazards outlook. You can, you can kind of zoom in here or you can zoom out. And you can kind of click on you know precipitation. You can see that you're looking at heavy precipitation and some heavy rainfall really for a lot of the state potentially coming up here in some chilly temperatures before that system rolls in uh, this is the same map here as well so just kind of one of the interesting products the national weather service does put out there. there's also discussion that comes with it and this is the 8 to 14 day also you can see wind there's snow for some of the higher terrain. There's precipitation. You can kind of see all these toggle back and forth. So good stuff there. Always fun to look at some of these graphics. Now, looking across some of uh, San Diego coastal areas, like, you know, the place has got some rainfall here over the last few days. San Diego County Valleys here. You can check out your individual locations here. You can check this out on NOAA as well. San Diego County Mountains. So some decent precipitation mounts out there. Look at the Orange County Reservoir up over an inch of precipitation. And lots more coming here, folks. Now, taking a look at the European versus the GFS, hot off the presses, the 06C run, doing this kind of early, so the 12C data has not yet come in, but uh, troughing kind of moving through the Pacific Northwest, and then they get a big Arctic air mass across Pacific Northwest, and then we start to develop this system out here across Pacific Ocean. Look at this monster. Good model agreement between the GFS and the European. And the thing with this one here is it's got an atmospheric river kind of extending out across Southern California, even in advance of the system. So this could really bring some prolonged precipitation to some areas of the state, including Southern California. Now, if we take a look at the precipitable water, this will kind of give you a very visual um, look at the atmospheric river here so there it goes you can see as we start to roll into tuesday night into wednesday morning the atmospheric river is impacting southern california and it stays with us as we go through thursday morning we're now into thursday afternoon and look at this low pressure center there's very dynamic precipitation amounts into southern california big mountain snows 
big wind potential, big wave potential also. So yeah, pretty impactful storm. Looks like it's going to be rolling in next week, potentially starting as early as Tuesday night. Now, if we take a look at the European, this is six hour precipitation type and the mean sea level pressure map. So we got a few days to prepare for this. Again, this is on the day Tuesday coming up. You see some of the precipitation just starting here as we go through Wednesday, it looks like on the European and some mountain snow start flying here. But then you see the deep low right off the coast of California, powerful frontal system driving all the way down through Southern California, keeping that precipitation going, perhaps long duration amounts. And of course, over the recent burn scar areas that could cause some flooding concerns, not to mention just the general flooding concerns this will cause anyway. Um, looking over the next 60 hours, I do want to point out that the winds aren't too bad over the next 60 hours. Just want to kind of point things out there. Maybe a little bit of gusty action across from the Sacramento Valley. Not a big deal. Total precipitation in inches, though, on the GFS. Let's put this into motion here, and you'll see. As we go through Tuesday night, coming up, now we're into Wednesday morning. Precipitation starts to fly on the day Wednesday for some of Southern California, Wednesday night. And then you can see the frontal system. I mean, pretty widespread rainfall. Look at these heavy amounts across some of Southern California as we go on in towards next week. So yeah, we really got to watch that storm. We'll be monitoring to see if it upgrades or downtrends or what happens with that and what is to follow as we go through uh, the end of the week. Uh, you got to look all the way out towards day five. So we still have a few days before the system starts to roll in you can kind of see the climate prediction center putting this out actually yeah weather prediction center the excessive rainfall outlook you can see you can click on these individual ones here and there's a rainfall forecast discussion and whatnot all kinds of crazy stuff uh, now if we take a look at snowfall potential as well you'll see that the storm system of course as you can imagine is going to bring in a very nice round of snowfall for the higher terrain as we go on in towards the end of next week as well glad to see that snow continue to accumulate across some of the higher terrain and this is looking at cumulated 10 meter wind gusts we're going to scroll all the way out and look at that look at the winds here kicking up across some of the coastal areas here so we do have some windy conditions possible with that storm system rolling in here we'll get into more detail on that as we get closer to the event looking at maximum individual wave height so we start to scroll on in towards next week and this is kind of the northwest flow here and then as we go on in towards Thursday and Friday, you can see the wave action pick up along the coastal areas here as well. So we'll be paying attention to that a bit uh, more as we get closer to the event. Here's the 6 to 10 day. Maybe we'll keep this going. Who knows? As we go through mid-February, we'll continue to break things down day by day. 6 to 10 day temperature outlook below normal. There's the 8 to 14 day and the 8 to 14 day precipitation. And then they've started to introduce this below normal across some of the southwest. We'll see how that trends. And, uh, you know, we can use this rainfall across Southern California California again. We just don't want to bring it too fast and furious. So yeah, got stuff to watch coming up here. Exciting stuff. Big time storm rolling in as we go through the mid to end week period here coming up. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Otherwise, I will again click that link to just show you how important the National Weather Service is to the United States of America. Hopefully you guys can take time to watch that and become um, maybe a little bit more knowledgeable on how things work here as far as the National Weather Service is concerned and why it doesn't really make much sense for private industries to get involved too much in that versus, you know, just... You know, all chipping in uh, uh, the government process here you know there's a, there's a lot that goes into it so just go ahead and check out the video for me if you would and we'll just continue to break things down day by day we'll check things out again tomorrow hope you guys are having a good day otherwise and i will talk to you guys later